Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. So on the review bench, today I have a roll of surface mount cutters. There's a six-piece set from RS Components, product number 663049. So let's open them up and have a look. Okay, so you've got a nice roll, open it up, and you've got six pieces in there. So I'll just lay those out nicely if you bear with me a second. So this is what they look like. We've got six in the set. They're all nicely protected with these covers, which I'm going to pull off. And good that they are because they're actually quite sharp. The cutters are anyway, very sharp indeed. Two sets of two pairs of pliers and four pairs of cutters. You can see you've got cutters for making a flush cut like that on the surface of a board. The opposite for making a flush cut like that. Another one similar to the first one but with a different angle. If you compare the two of them, that one's got a the top one has a less acute angle. This one would enable you to get into a more awkward position, whereas that one would be okay nearer to the edge of a of a circuit board. You've also got this one which would enable you to get right down and say if you had something like a surface mount 1206 capacitor or resistor it would enable you to get right down in there and snip it out if you wanted or needed to do that or to trim something. This one you have, well it's basically it's a pair of pliers for holding a small component or positioning a small component or holding it while you reflow or desolder. And here uh, a long nosed version. So pretty useful stuff and they seem to be very well made um, I've used some of, I haven't used the pliers very much but I've used some of the cutters and I have to say they're extremely sharp now I don't know if you'll be able to read that on the screen but just here it says maximum cut 0.6 millimeters copper wire warning lightweight cutters do not overstress they are extremely sharp but they're not meant for heavy duty work so you don't want to be cutting seriously thick wires with them or they won't last very long. So let's see what they can do shall we? So let's have a go at trimming a bit of solder on a piece of strip board. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. So I'm going to use these ones and you can see there's a little bit of solder, a little blob there that I've decided I don't want, so I'm going to take these and I'm going to trim it. And as you can see, that's taken it almost completely off. Very nice. Obviously, there's different ways of removing solder, but I'm just giving you an example. There's another one here, which I'm just going to. snip and you heard that ping away it's a very nice way of tidying up your boards okay so now I'm going to try the other one of the other pairs of cutters this is the one which you would normally use this way around if you were holding the board like that and I'm going to use it to cut through a resistors wire and it just cuts through that like butter no problem at all. Let's just show you the other end as well. It's absolutely marvellous how that cuts, how easily it cuts. So let's try and get right down as close to the base as we can. A lovely flush cut. Right. 
So that one's for using like that. The other ones, one is for using like that. And the other one is a slightly less acute angle for using like that. All quite useful. And this one here is what you would use if you wanted to remove a component like this. Let's see if I can do that. Well, that was pretty easy. Except I think I broke it, but never mind. What's an LED amongst friends? Usually when you're removing a component, it's because you don't want it there. So hopefully you wouldn't break it always, but... See, we managed to remove an LED there without destroying the rest of the board, which I guess is what these ones are meant to be for. Okay. So... Supposing you have an intricate little joint you're using and you want to make a nice joint with some stranded wire like that. These pliers can be quite useful when you're actually winding it round and trying to get it neatly on. I've just got some stranded wire I'm trying to solder onto a small header. So what I would then do is I would take these snip off the little strands. You see how easily they came off. Beautifully. And then I would solder my joint. So that's soldered nicely in place. Well maybe not very nicely but it is soldered in place. And then if you wanted to or needed to you could trim off any sticking out bits to avoid any problems. These long pliers I think would be particularly useful for holding a component while you were reflow soldering because you could keep your hands well out of the way and not risk getting yourself burned. I haven't actually got equipment for that so I can't show you doing that but uh, I would imagine they would be very good for that or even, even hand soldering uh, an SMT component so here's a close-up of the whole lot. You can see each of them in the shot. So we've got four cutters. One, two, three different angles. And the one for individual components. We've got two pairs of pliers, one fairly short and one long and angular which I think would be really useful for holding something down while you did something to it. They're very nicely made, they're very sharp, easy to use and a pleasure in use. As I say, the only thing I think you have to watch out for is that you don't end up using them as general purpose cutters when you really should be using something more like this, with a, which is more powerful, heavier duty. If you'd like to subscribe to the Raspi TV YouTube channel, when the video finishes, click on the I and click subscribe. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.